15 minutes. Let's make that... Ooh, that's a big-ass tree. Let's make some more minutes, shall we? Because I am enjoying myself, and you should never quit when you're enjoying yourself. You should also not break your legs. Generally, those two are bad things. I love Kira and so should you. Kira is a time. could just make a little hole up there. So I have a deposit box, shall I say. I love kiri kiri kira boom. Let's get rid of the seed. I don't need it at all. Salad and scrambled eggs. Oh my. Yep. Yep. Chop, chop, chopping. This is plenty of wood. This is plenty. She grew nicely. And there's no way to put that. Other than that. So yeah, I'll boast the question again because I'm gonna cut it at that point. Um, should I infiltrate Mojang and Bethesda HQ and use it as a home? I mean, there's plenty of wool in there, so I can get something out of that. Out of kitty kitty. Mm -mm. So there's profit to be made in that sector. And then there's the fact that it, it looks awesome. As minimalistic as the design is, I like it. But on the negative side, I don't. Ha I could take some of the wool and turn it into something to sleep on. That is a solution. Now, I'm gonna take the perilous quest upon me to make some charcoal and illuminate the road there and then illuminate the building itself. Moving there would also mean having to move a large supply of materials that I currently have with me. And this is a centralized island, so I think I'll keep my base here and everything so that I can immediately deploy should the need arise. Damn it. Damn it, these trees are trees are growing like cabbage. Or like ivy. Ivy grows really fast to what I've heard. I wouldn't know, I have never kept track of it at all. Let's take some charcoal. Make some more uh whatchamacallit. Some more of them. There you go. Fresh supply of torches. No seeds. That's kind of depressing. I gotta take a seed from my fresh seed supply. Oh ho! Double entendre. How you like them apples? <laughs> yes, I like apples, but I prefer them without the skin. 
probably should make a safety for this because I will fall into that. Smell the fresh bread and then starve. Yeah, I could make another bread. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna transport some supplies over there so that I don't have to worry about that too much. You know what? It's day. Let's explore the other office and light up the place a little, shall we? I think I'll set up a furnace or... I don't think. I don't have any stone for that. But I'll set up some basic needs. Make it my place. First, I need to know which one is... I think I can fix the lower floor. It shouldn't be too much of an issue getting those materials. Glass will be an issue, and I'm not a big fan of glass, so I might skip that altogether. Make a little safety, so that you can't just fall off if you have to make the corner. You always got to think about safety, you know? Safety should always be your primary concern. By now, the enemies have despawned, because in case you don't know, enemies can't spawn very far. They'll eventually despawn. It's mostly to keep the cache clean so they don't get ram stuff full of things that you probably won't encounter anyway. There's plenty of torches already around here, but I want to make sure it's properly illuminated enough that monsters won't be spawning at the ram dash. There's one torch here, put one over here, put one on the staircase. Damn, this is a really nice office. It'd be a shame not to move in here. See, the problem is you need to light everywhere. You can't just light one side of the room and call it quits. Could use some of those signposts. Look at that, just look at that. <gasps> Gold. I don't have any use for gold. Gold is not that practical for me at this point. I need good materials that I can actually work with. But I'll take a couple of slabs of wool. And if you want to know why, because I could use a couple of slabs of wool. First things first, I need some doors. Because the last thing I want is that mobs move in. Honestly, is that something I want? Nah, I don't want that. Put... Aw, I broke into Bethesda. I wanted to break into Mojang. What's this? Closed. What the? Who's Primark? Bethesda HQ, ready for renovation. This, I could plant some awesome wheat here. Perfect, it's it's perfect for it. Slab a couple of torches all around the place to make sure that mobs don't spawn at the ram dash. That could be a nice catchphrase, at the ram dash, just at random. Ooh, there's some signs over there. I like this, I like the design. It's very minimalistic, and admittingly, it doesn't... One, I don't know who I don't know who any of these people are, but I do like floor eleven. We, fun room. Oh, that sounds nice. Notch's office is eight. I do know who Notch is, but who's Jeb? Move this. This is Jeb. I don't know who Jeb is. I know his primary. Oh God! If I fall, I'm dead. They all have like this nifty hidden gold supply for some reason. And I want to close that. So Mojang uses sand. Who's this? Oh, Tobias's office. Not, look at that. Tobias you have. Oh, thank you, Tobias. I'll thank you with a thank you. Because I could really use that at the moment. And I think I'll just grab a couple of pieces of stone. Somewhere. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this world. Probably take some stone from my old place for this. Because I need charcoal or else I can make more. Nicely lit up. 
There'll be a lot less mobs now, but I'll think I think I'll keep exploring the tower first. I'll make lighting this place up my second priority, and there's a lot of bookcases here, so I can make a lot of bookcases on my own. Daniel. Let's see what you have, Daniel. Ooh, you got a fishing rod. That's nice, now I can fish, which is pretty good. Carl. I don't know who you are, Carl, but you have a nice book, and some paintings, and some feathers. Thank you, Carl. And a little nice TV you got there. Lydia. Ooh, Lydia, you got a fancy office here. Got a cake. Ooh, got some wheat. Mm, I might as well keep some of this here. I think I'll take the cake. You know what? I'll leave the cake here. You can have that, Lydia. If you ever come back, that is. Jacob. My name is Jacob. And I have tons of books. Jen. Aw, oh, you got a cute little painting over there. Got an ender pearl and some armor. I'll leave it here for now. When I'll come back, I'll scavenge it. Notch. Note to self, check the tunnel in the lobby. Yeah, I checked it, Mr. Notch. And in case you didn't notice, Mr. Notch, it falls to death. And I'll explore that in due time. For now, I have different priorities. Ooh. Ooh that's fu funky. Kind of glitchy. Meeting room. Fancy. This glitchiness is starting to bug me. Sec. So that just fraps kicking the living shit out of my computer at some point. For no good reason. The canteen. Did I miss the fun room? There's some cooked chicken. Could always use some of that. But I could use is a chicken. Oh, God damn it. Strip club. All types of hose. Ah, ha uh ha! -huh, fun, fun. I like it. I like this place. It's really fancy. It's 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 more de it's more defined than the Bethesda office. But the Bethesda office has a has a sheen to it. And this is a block of gold. I could use for a lot of things, like a golden apple. Like a golden apple. I could make a golden apple with that one. That we need. Golden apple. Golden apple. Golden apple. Golden apple. There's another golden apple. Oh wait, you need one for a golden apple, so I can make a lot of them. So, so again, should I move into Bethesda HQ and Mojang HQ and connect them via a tunnel of a material of your choice? I will leave that completely up to you, because the fans, they come first. They always come first. Fans are important. Nah, I'm not, not a crowd pleaser. Kind of way more than the sense is that I want this to be equally enjoyable for you, because I'm having fun. I'm having fun regardless of what I'm doing. I just want to play Mojang. Fancy office you got there, Mojang. What's this? I wonder what the hell Primark is. But it's very run down, and I think I'm going to break through the window. Or I could just climb up. Yeah, but if anyone knows what the hell Primark is, please tell me. Ah! Ooh. <gasps> Golden armor. I think I'll wear that to look fancy. No, I think I won't. Looks like there's a lot to explore down there. So, next time, I'll go do that. I'll go explore below. And I'll leave it up to you what I'm going to do with these buildings. I could make this my main island. If you want to, I can make this my main island. It's it's not going to be a chore at all. I just have to um, get some resources over here so I can set up, uh, repair a couple of things, put in some proper doors. Shouldn't have done that. Then I think I'm done. Oh yeah, put in some proper doors, put in a bed, fancy it up a little. Could see about spawning some mobs over there. <laughs> this could make a nice place. But I could also work on my own house and make my own giant tower of power over there. That's my main building. But this is just about the main building. I'm going to fancy that place up regardless because that will always be home to me. It always will be. It never will ever stop being my home. Now I'm going to fancy this thing up. Might as well use these slabs.
since I did use them. There you go. So awesome. Uh, so let's scurry my way on home. Take some of the loot with me. Leave some loot behind. Let's see, what's this is some good loot. Could take the sword with me. Iron, iron, diamonds, gold, and wooden sticks. And also, should I install too many items just for the heck of it? Would you mind if I cheated a little bit? Can I cheat a little bit? Is that okay with you, or should I keep this vanilla? I'm okay either way. One just means I have to put a little more effort forward. The other means I can finally get some things done. And like a cowboy in the west will walk off towards the sunset. Ding, 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 ding. While eating some chicken. Ooh, chicken's nice. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, give me that chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, yeah. Baby, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. This is breaking my nerves. I might use fences for this, just to build a giant fence over to the other side so I can't fall off anymore. Which is probably the smartest thing I'll ever do. Oh, look, some more wheat grew. So yeah, you the fans know my question, should I move over to the big old towers? Should I not? Is it a good choice? Is it a bad choice? And if you don't answer, I'm gonna do it. If nobody says anything, I'll just do it. Save myself the issues. <laughs> Because I say yes, and if you say no, I'll respect that. Hmm. Kinda like this place. Can't recover those seeds. That's very bad news. Maybe if I jump on them? Yep, can recover them by jumping on them, which is a good thing. It means I can shift all this shit over easily. So, you have my questions. Fans, if you even exist, should I move? Should I move to the gleaming towers at the horizon? Or should they stay that? Gleaming towers of an old ruin at my horizon. Also, vote yes on Proposition 17, whatever that may be, unless it's something bad, in which case you shouldn't. So, goodbye!